here's the original mouse. It was made out of uh, a hook that is about one and a half inches long. And the hook itself is about a half inch drop down from the body of the hook. Um, right here. And the foam is uh, about three inches by three quarters inches. And we use uh, olive chenille, some just uh, stuff from a, a p stuffing from a pillow, and uh, some white thread. All to make this little mouse guy here. Oh, the mouse right here, I use black thread, but figured white thread would look better. All right, so let's get started on this mouse. So I put a little silver bead up here just to kind of keep volume up in the nose. And then I like to throw a little square knot through the eye of the hook. just to um, try and help prevent unraveling. And then after that we'll Wrap it on back and trim off the excess of this guy. It's right here. We do a little bit of wrapping. Tag end. Push the bead forward to try and cover that a little bit. And then wrap right behind that bead. And then we're ready for the tail. We just had to take some of our chenille, measure out about how much we want it from. It's just gonna stick past there. Start wrapping. You can use this little spring guy to hold it. Trim that off. I'm trying to <laughs> make that a little bit strong so that the fish doesn't just bite his tail right off. All right, then we go up to our foam. Just put it on there, make some wraps. And these don't have to be pretty wraps because we'll be coming back shortly with 
with the foam to fold it over. But first, putting some of this on the top, the, the stuffing. Get rid of some to reduce the volume because the fish seem to like nice thin um, weak looking mice. Right. Start wrapping that up in there. Okay, bring it up towards the head, or the nose, I should say. Come right here, fold it over, and then you're, and you're coming back to make like the neck. Do a few wraps up there, and then I like to bring it, move it so that you can see better when I do this. I like to go and make the ears then. Ears, I'm just wrapping over and under, over and under. Trying to create some little ears for the mouse. Then we come around towards the nose again. Finish it with a, a whip finish. Oh. Come on, don't fall on me now. There we go. Tug on the remainder. to make sure it's not going to come undone and then you add a little bit of head cement right there on that tip to try and soak into that knot cut off the excess and there you go. There's your little mouse. And of course, you can always play around with how you want the tail. You can add some hackle. I've tried adding hackle. It didn't look too nice for me. Add some add hurl as a tail. Uh, just play around and have fun.